Hello everyone, welcome again and in this video I'm going to show you demonstration of online Tiffin order management system in JSPN Servlet. It's again a Java application and it's using JSPN Servlet and it's a Maven application so we are using pom.xml over there and to store the information we are using as a backend database as a MySQL so here into the MySQL we have a user Tiffin payment order, food order and category tables. Okay. To view the data of any table, just right click on it, go to uh, select the first option, you will get the data over there. If we talk about the user roles into the application, we have two types of users, admin and the user and user or you can say the customer. Now, uh, let's run the application before the start the demo, I want to make a note. In case you need the source code, you can connect us uh, over the WhatsApp or email or um, Skype. You will get the link in the description box of this video. So you will be able to uh, connect with us and you can take the source code directly by, you can, uh, you, you can directly buy the source code from the link. And in case you face any issue during the configuration and setup, you can connect with us. We will set up the application and after setup, it will be look like this. Uh, it's showing in my machine and after that you need to follow this step in order to run the application so to run it right click on it go to run as run on server select a server as a tomcat click on next click on finish at the time when you hit the finish button it will launch the tomcat server and run the application on your chrome browser okay automatically it will start the server so when we run the application you have to just wait some time it will take time to load all the things and lots of tools are running in my machine so it's processing a bit slow at my end so this is the home page the simple home page is there you can add the background if required and we have two options here sign up and sign in so if you are a new customer you can sign up from here let's say i'm going to enter new customer enter a proper valid email id so i'm going to say new bus new bus tumor, enter password as a demo at the end one two three phone number should be 10 digit valid phone number select gender submit at the time when i hit the submit button it's registered into my database and if i replace my user table it will show the new record over here we talk about the sign in so in the sign in we have two types of users admin and the end users so i'm going just to just log in as an admin now and let's see what admin can do and after that we'll move to the user or as a new customer that we have just registered okay so admin can check the list of users also admin if admin wants admin can delete the records admin can edit the records different functionalities are there about the user list add categories so here we can add the categories a new category let's say i'm going to just enter a dummy data for a testing purpose you can enter the meaningful data over there when you are operating this application i just added one category over there when i check the category list it will display me like this i can edit it i can delete it if required okay here we have an option as a tiffin so i need to uh, add a tiffin as an admin or as an owner so in, in into the new category i'm going to add a Tiffin over there, which is price is 500 and enter the food. I can eat the food items and let's add an image. For a dummy purpose, I'm going to add, you can add a meaningful image. I'm going to add this image container. Okay. Let's just click on submit. And here into the Tiffin list, I can see, see the, check the new images is added, new product, new Tiffin is added. Uh, we are adding here a dummy uh, images you can add the meaningful also you can uh, delete it if required and you can filter out the data like this okay i just filter the data by using this category okay like this chinese yeah one record is there south indian one record is there punjabi one record is there i just reset all the will be display over there all defense will be display over there in the tiffin order list uh, as an admin you will get the order that you need to confirm here and in the payment list you will check the payment so in this parallel i'm going to log in as a user and let's see what user can do what kind of operation user can perform over there and how user can request a tiffin so i just log in with as a new user and i just enter the username password as a credential i hit the login button in here into the tiffin list i can check all the tiffin list and let's suppose i want to order this newly added tiffin so i just click the order i need to enter my address on which i want the tiffin 
and tiffin order successfully now if i check the tiffin order list i can check the new is ordered the status is currently ordered the payment status is no because it's not approved and accepted yet so if i go here into the admin section again the, the, this is the admin so um I, I check the tiffin order list so you can see here i got a new order request when i confirm it at that time user will refresh the page it will open the, the status will be changed to the, into the confirm and the payment option is enabled now user can enter the card detail enter expiry dates and let's suppose i'm going to enter 28 cvv number and pay the payment done now the payment will be displayed into this list and here also for the admin side the order is confirmed and we can process for the like uh, the payment is got it and the payment is updated here okay so this is all about the tiffin management system and to um, jspn servlet so in case you need the source code you can definitely connect with us and don't worry about the configuration setup and, uh, and the, about the project we'll do the complete setup at your machine and in case you want uh, the explanation of the internal source code the services will also there so you can join and you can have that service as well thank you